disclaimer, my channel does not promote any kind of hate whatsoever or bullying. I'm only reporting what I saw on the news via Instagram, via YouTube. This is a short commentary piece which involves criticism. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, y'all, more to come. Peace. You're bringing back shit we've already talked about. I'm coming tonight, dumbass. Dang, hurry shit. up! Hurry up, sorry. I'm just trying to. Then go. Man, I'm so fucking done with you. The next day. No, I got a family. You go. Watch her. 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 You know I got a family? You gotta leave me alone. Yeah. Is that what? You know what? Like, no, we haven't. Look, you I, just had this conversation. Just, no, you're sitting over You're bringing back shit we've already talked about. I'm talking about tonight, dumbass. Steps. Tonight, when he just called, ten and minutes. I told you he wants me to come back to work, and I said, "Dang, he's drunk." Why did that take ten minutes? Man. If you knew he was drunk, you'd be like, "No, no, get out of my way. I'm not done talking." Get out of my way. Let me get outside. Let me get outside. I'm not done no, because I'm not done you obviously need to pull down because talking. you can't. Get no, I'm not done talking. Down, man. No, you need to deal you with need this child. Cool you need to deal with this child. You're acting like one for sure. Thank I you, know. so sit your ass down. Nah. Get your ass on the bed since you want to be a child. For what? Come on. Don't Move, touch please. me. No, I'm not. Yeah, why well, won't you let me off the bed? Because I'm still talking. I'm not done. Let me off the I'm bed. I'm not done fussing. Don't Move, touch me. Please. No, I'm not. Yeah, why well, won't you let me off the bed? Because I'm still talking. I'm not done. Let me off the bed. I'm not now. done fussing. Let me off the bed. I'm not done. I know, so you're never I'm not done, sit down. You never know. I'm not done, sit down. No. You can talk. To anyway, me. you he keeping you on the phone for ten fucking minutes and you already know he's drunk and shit like that. Why would you sit there and condone because that behavior? Because he's trying to tell me how busy it got on Christmas Day. That doesn't Christmas matter. Why he? No, well, he's not. You'll be shut quiet up. and let no. me explain then instead of doing all this fucking then dumb hurry shit. Up. Hurry up, sorry. I'm just trying to. Then go. Man, I'm so fucking done with you. Say what you need to say. Get out my fucking no, way. No, I'm not. Get out my way. Finish what you need to say. Get out my way. Finish what you need to say. Get out my way. Finish what you need to say. Get out my way. Go ahead. You, exactly. You no, got shit because break. I told him I ain't working for him. Take 10 yeah, because he's sitting there. He's like, when you coming back next year? I'm like, I don't know. When you coming back, you can't do that. I don't know. You already know you're not fucking going back next year. Okay, and I'm, if, so the, if it doesn't work know. out, I'm just going to make sure I got something. No, because you can work a fucking real job. And that's what I'm doing. Then why would you say, I don't fucking know? Because if it doesn't work out. It will work out. Unless and you that's don't what I'm doing. It. Because so I'm trying my hardest up there. Why are you telling that? 
You already know it's a type of job that's owned by third world people. Even if you say, I'm probably not coming back, they're still gonna give you a It's like you work with all these connections. Yeah, but then it's, it's third not. World. Exactly. That's in VIP. Right, if I told him, no, fucking listen. Come on. That's in VIP. You already fucking know. We're me. Americans. We already know how it fucking works with third world people. Come you can me. tell, shut the fuck up. You can tell the people right now, no, I'm not fucking coming back. Go back next year and you need a job, you're gonna fucking be hired. You know why? Because the motherfuckers need somebody to work for their company. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. This fucking, I told you when I got on this fucking job with this death in VIP shit, you know I got a family. You gonna leave me alone? Yeah, because I want this place. You know what? Like, oh, no, man. we haven't. Look. You I, just had this conversation. Just, no, you're you sitting over here. You're bringing back shit we've already talked about. I'm coming tonight, steps. dumbass. Tonight, when he just called, ten and minutes. I told you, he wants me to come back to work. Ten and I said, dang, he's drunk. Why did that take 10 minutes? Man. If you knew he was drunk, you'd be like, no. Get no. out of my way. I'm not done talking. Get out of my way. Let me get outside. Let me get outside. I'm not done talking. No, because I'm not done you obviously need to cool down. I'm not done talking. No, I'm not done talking. Cool down, man. No, you need to deal you with this child. Cool down. You need to deal with this child. You're acting like one for sure. Thank I know. you, so sit your ass no. down. Get your ass on the bed since you want to be a child. For what? Come on. Don't Move, touch me. Please. No, I'm not. Yeah, why won't you let me off the bed? Because I'm still talking. I'm not done. Let me off the bed. I'm not done fussing with you. We just picked up Kyrie from school. And I want to talk about some stuff. So first of all, uh, wash my hair today. And just wash and go today. I just threw it up in a ponytail and that was it. I don't even care today. We just picked up Kyrie from school. And I want to talk about some stuff. So first of all, um somebody and i don't care okay let me let me let me let me let me tone it down just a little bit so um i was looking at my truck right i got my new car and i got my truck i got two vehicles two and i was yeah and i was looking at my truck I decided to look up under the hood because it was having transmission problems, but that was the only problem it was having. Everything else was Gucci, uh, right? Uh, everything else was fine. So I'm looking under the hood and I'm like, I'm gonna do some maintenance to everything, make sure everything's looking good, you know, whatever. I go to look underneath my hood of my truck. The wires to the battery have been cut. Uh, uh, uh. And the reservoir, the radiator, the coolant reservoir, the reservoir for the radiator has been drained and loosened. There were two bolts, and maybe I'll show you guys when I uh, when I get back. Two bolts were loosened all the way. It looked like someone took the two bolts out, took the radiator, probably dumped it anywhere they wanted to, and then just screwed it in about not even half, but maybe a third of the way, and then left it there completely empty battery was i wish i would have shown you guys I, i'm gonna start making sure i start taking pictures and stuff cords cut to the max um but thankfully all those were easy fix i was able to i forgot i still had electric tape so i put the electric tape on both wires unhooked the battery cleaned the battery up did all that the reservoir because the thing is when i was driving it it started overheating i was like why is my engine overheating because I had transmission problems, not engine problems. Bam, I figured out that's why. And then today I worked on it myself. I uh, wrapped the electric tape around the battery uh, wires, got them hooked back in there, um, filled the reservoir, screwed that back in, made sure that was good, it's not wobbling anymore. And then um, started the bad boy up, and it was going good it was going just like it was just a transmission problem just a shifting problem not engine problems also um so i know someone had tampered with it because the thing the way that i wish god i wish i had taken pictures the way that it looked was nothing like it looked it looked destroyed it's not even like oh it's just a little bit of like um like it could be just like maintenance problems no it was intentional damage done to my truck and I'm pretty sure I know exactly who did it because he was always under my truck but 
think y'all know who did it too. But the thing is, thank God, I know how to work on vehicles, so like I figure out the problem right away. Like I just look out, just right away I knew it. And um, it's just like I fixed it. It's good. It's just back to the transmission problem. But I told myself I'm not getting rid of my truck. No, 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 no. Not getting rid of my truck. I'm, I'm keeping my truck and I'm going to get it, um, just get the transmission fixed on it, which is only going to be like two or three thousand dollars. It may be three thousand because my truck is uh, a V8, so it's an eight cylinder, but what's another thousand? I mean, once you're already paying two thousand, another thousand is really like nothing. So, yeah, I just want to come on and mention that stuff. Uh, just a quick little update. But yeah, we're heading home. Um, Kyrie had a good day of school as far as I know. Um, I She was in tutoring for the rest of the year.